Hey, hon. Oh, God, have we made up? Come say hello, why don't you? Mommy, can we hug? Let's hug and make up. I love you. I love you, Mom. Hey, hon. Hey, Mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. Just like England! Y you guys gonna say sorry? Hey, hun. Yeah. Sorry about yesterday. You should be apologizing me! Good. They're both apologizing. That's good. That's fine. Hug it out. Hug it out. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just... I don't want to repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed, too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Talk to Mommy about it. Okay, still putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. I mean, that's currently like me and my mom right now, uh, not having a conversation about the oven in my kitchen. Um, so, number one, I'm glad that Mama Cat and uh, May Cat made up. But, um, yeah, my mom, because obviously she's still in Malaysia, and Malaysia's eight hours ahead. Um, so when we text each other, there's like a time difference. And I texted her, I think, Saturday night, about 10.30, which was just about morning time, her time. Um, and, uh, yeah. I told her that I'd done all this painting and stuff like that and she was like can we finally talk about your oven because like you know we need to replace your oven and blah 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 and I was like mom it's 10 no it was 11:30 at night and I've spent all day painting and I've, I'm covered in paint and I still need to shower and get to bed we're not talking about the oven right now I'm not in a really strong place emotionally and physically to talk about replacing a goddamn oven especially because I just want to spend all my money on like making on, on Amiibos and Nintendo Switches. How's it going, Salmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. I went to Harfest, saw some messed up stuff that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was like out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Okay, let's hear a new poem. Autumn winds, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. Um. Yeah. What? What's an autumn sin? What? What? Or, or either? What's an autumn crime? Is it smashing up light bulbs? Robbing a gas station and blowing it up. Okay. I mean, I don't really in November. Okay. There we go. I was. I was going to say what makes that autumn. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still, like, putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. <laughs> Greg plays by his own rules. <laughs> it feels more like the world plays by his rules. What? That doesn't... That's deep. Whoa, that's... Oh, oh I'm getting a migraine because that is so deep. That's too deep for me. I don't even know what that means. Still. Whoa. Like, talking to B makes me want to listen to The Cure and dig out my old leather jacket. Yeah. Whoa, everything's like closing up. Oh my god. Is, so is someone moving in? I miss you, pizza place. Right, band practice. Let's watch Kim screw up playing the guitar. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door and it was super loud. Why were they doing it at night? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out into the roof. Now I can like, I don't know, run from that door down to the lobby, up to the roof and pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Okay, let's do this. Let's rock it! Okay, okay. Remember your controls, Kim. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god!
<laughs> I've been playing too much Zelda! What control is which? Way too much Zelda. I hate mixing up controls. Right, I can do this. Okay, A and Y. This sucks. I could do this bit. Let me just do that bit forever. Oh man, okay. Heavy solo. <laughs> oh my good god! I'm just gonna spam all the buttons. I'm just spamming all the buttons, just like with my face, with my thing, with my thing there. Okay, there we go. Right. No, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. This is bad. <laughs> that was really good practice, guys. That was. Wow, uh, May, that was um pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I, I, did, I literally did not know this song. That was really hard. That was really, really hard. It was just, yeah. <sighs> so fast. It was really fast. You pushed a button, B. You have electronic drums. And, yeah, okay. That was, that was really rock and roll, guys. That was so punk. I'm gonna sound, uh, so husky. Husky voices are pretty sexy. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid, and also, I think he was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something, because this is scary. So I'm guessing uh, May just told everyone her uh, crazy story from last night. Well, uh, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Um, no? Very much not okay, I'm kind of freaking out. It uh, probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. <laughs> you got us, boo-boo. With my picnic basket. Aw, oh, dudes. B, are you in? Okay, fine. So, we need to, like, maybe see if there's, like, some ghostly stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? Please. Uh, like, what? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books? B b books about it? About the thing? No, they have, like, the local paper on file. Like, going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow! I didn't even know they had that! I thought it was just, like, a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude, who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. To the library! Woo! Library! Woo! I like libraries. To the library. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window, we're all working, things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. Um, I forgot that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. I mean, sure. Wow. What? Oh, I guess, yeah, because... Oh, man, that's, mm, that, oh, like, if I had a friend who was drawing this in their diary, I'd be, I'd be a little, I'd be a little scared. I'd be a little bit scared for that. Um, I like how the difference between my last band practice, which was like, yeah, I'm totally boss, to this one, which was just like, no, <laughs> no, computer says no. Hello, library bear. Li library? 
Oh my god, yes, I'm a genius. <laughs> Light berry. <laughs> Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Fish. Fish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. I like that, um, who is it? Lee, Lee rules. Lee, Lee, Lee rules says, now it's a diary. And I'm hoping that that is a reference to uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. Because I love that comic. I love Shonen Vasquez. Oh my god. What an amazing comic book illustrator. Dark. So dark, man. If you want to talk about goths, you want to look at Shonen Vasquez. Microfis. Right, is this the third floor? Looks like someone left something open on this one. Is it porn? It's a resume. Bob Targ! Born 1966. 50 years old, let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? <laughs> in this, in this generation. It should be, like, guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? That's, that sounds like fun. Young socialist chatterbox. Oh, are we in the kids section? I volunteered in a kids library once. It was tedious. It's charity barity. Oh my god. What's charity barity? How do you not know charity barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five frickin' years old! Alright, so this was like a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... Okay. You were kidnapped by a cult, cause, you know, hashtag not a cult. And when they were like... Brainwashing you, instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and magic mask... That, that's not okay, okay. Yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was an effing this effing pink nightmare. Maybe Charity Barity is the dude who stole a kid. <gasps> Were you scared of it? No, I was bored to death. It was t talking forever about like being kind to others and like I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Barity helps old Mr. Plonko fix his hovercraft. No, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, Pink Nightmarity. Charity Barity, I just don't do. Ch I don't. I. Well, I don't carity. <sighs> that doesn't work, May. But... <laughs> oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep, ghost or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence, or flew over it, or something, while carrying something. Alright, well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy, because he took someone, and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through, and that's not good. Maybe he's the reason the arm, like, um, was found. We found an arm in like the last episode, it was, it was weird. Uh, that all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Right, here we go. Do, 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 do. It's like we're in Scooby-Doo now with the kind of jazzy like, yeah, we're gonna find some secrets. All right, there she is. It's the microfish. Are we gonna have to do some rad mini game? I have no idea how to use it. Really? I, I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? Sass, that's what we brought. This whole thing was, like, my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea was- blah, blah, wrong voice. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. May is really fighty. Aww, you my friend! Aww, we friends, Beatrice! Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night with your dumb asses in charge. Ah. 
Right. What are we looking for? We're looking for a murder ghost. I want to steer. Okay. No. I'm steering! Well, we should probably start with spectral things. Spectral things, spectral things. Come on, let me read the things. Okay, okay, let's roll down. Step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Okay. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday as they hiked along the wooded overpass known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 a.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from a great height, leaving the exact number or nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills, uh, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. So maybe this is lo linked to the, the Possum Massacre, maybe? Uh, thank you very much to DS1, uh, DS Boy Wonder 25 for subscribing! Thank you very much, my love. Uh, sound off. Uh, okay, so these are just rules. This looks like it's been written by the council people who are like, um, you know, just, just, uh, congregate on the street corners and whinge about the ferris wheel. Do not show the ankles! Or use vulgar slang! Okay, shut up. Okay. Uh, ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. The Possum Springs Historical Society conversion of the Schreigerist House into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Newsom has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours doing my work, and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out of nowhere to see who was fooling, but there was nobody there. Trying to get this map room operational for all the children... Uh, while I'm looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. Mr. Newsom has previously re uh, requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were pre present in the building, but even that proved too terrifying. 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 Uh, I don't go to off-limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor. And then only to see the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm seeing Little Joe or something, but they can all go spit! Little Joe, for the uninitiated, was a local ghost story popular for some years ago. The, his the Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsom's claims at this time. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted. Yes, Historical Society. Uh. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mostly just watched TV and did therapy. It's a pretty cool house. Sounds like we might be we going to the histor the historical society, then, an actual haunted house. Uh oh. Okay, they have summer arts and craft programs. Still worth checking out. Okay, so we got that. That's boring. We don't need that. Uh, Deep Hollow County mourns the final group of bodies from the 1800 eight, 1800 eight, 18, 1888 explosion words uh, have been recovered two days shy of the one year anniversary of the tragedy these five men bring the total dead to uh, 112 two of the men Addison Pine and Henry Harvey were the ones who set off the explosion although mine bosses have been informed that gas pockets were present in the section they elected not to inform Pine and Harvey of the possible danger Okay. It's interesting, but not ghosts. It sounds like this whole area has kind of had a really tragic history, to be honest. Strange but true, a tale of teeth. Um. Okay. So. They, oh God, they pulled out some dude's teeth. That's, that's cool. Uh. So they dug up, they, they took this guy's teeth and used this guy's skull in ceremonies. They would place teeth in the sockets and later retrieve the tooth after the retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the straight strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these would find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Okay, well, that's that's weird. Oh, wow. This is gnarly and awesome. 
Oh my god. That's that's pretty crazy. Possum massacre. Severe violence broke out the Safford mine strike today. Uh, so there was talks between miners. Nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. A brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle who were on strike uh, when the shooting broke out. The photograph of the two children who were shot in cold blood has circulated far outside of our little county. This heinous act uh, led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet strikers. Okay, that, that sounds pretty awful. No ghosts to be found here. So, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like it could be something to do with miners, because, like, you know, there just seems to be so many stories about the mining community. Uh, so this guy has bought, opened a shop. Uh, another strike at the mine. So the, it looks like there was an explosion at the mine, and then the miners striked. Struck? Striked? Um... I guess kind of like in England. Pie piracy. Keep your pies safe. Okay, so someone's stealing pies. The Stanley T. Possum statue uh, is finally slated for demolition. Okay. So that's the that's the main statue. Uh, so we've got the little Joe. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on this any census survey. Little Joe, reportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favourite spook story of our whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of the Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around. Just strolling around. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths. Goddamn youths! Um, so they're considering erecting an iron gate. Okay. Scooch, so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. I bet you are. I bet you are, you little goth kid. Um, I like history. Ghosts are history! History that won't stay history! That's actually pretty good. <laughs> right, okay, so uh, we've done the strike. Uh, we've done... I've kind of wandered around strange places, haven't I? Tale of Teeth. Okay, so we've got Tale of Teeth. Uh, okay, we got twins and stuff. Tragedy at Stafford Mine. So this is the explosion at Stafford Mine. So is that another, another explosion? Um... Right, that was definitely one that we didn't tweak upon. Possum jump. Hmm, yeah. Looks like possum jump. Okay. So we read that one first. So that's three locations we can go look for ghosts. Or, you know, serial murderers. Three leads. Oh. Is that it? No, let's look at more stuff. There could always be more stuff. Um... So that's just someone saying that's a cool thing. Uh, this person has purchased land. That's the school. Progress in Possum Springs. So that's just talking about new things open. Oh yeah, so this is redevelopment in Possum Springs. An albino groundhog has been sighted. Cool. Underground gases afflict many. Especially if you're Al Smithy in a hotel room in Vancouver. Oh, so this is all the um, sinkholes and stuff, I guess. And then another strike, so more about the strike. Okay, I think we got everything. I think we got everything. Uh, there we go. Right, we got some leads. Uh, yeah, we don't even have a license, May. I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope, no license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all of these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. <laughs> you know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. 
Hey nerd, ever heard that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, science. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> For science! Okay, so we got three leads. There we go. Ooh, oh god, it's those society people again. Ahem! What is... Shh. D is that Miss Qualshi? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Okay. I think they paid her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Oh, it's Summers, isn't it? Do you want to stick around for this? Uh, yeah, go on. Let's see what poems you got. We have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma and Forrester, the cat. Uh, I will start us off with one of my own. Uh, they don't actually pair in string, right? <laughs> yes, May. They literally pair in string. I was just joking! Right. <clears throat> Letter to my worst student. Oh, this is totally about me. To my worst student, the subject of my stories, I tell friends back home when they ask about life out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry at the end of my life. You will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. <laughs> Thanks, everyone! <laughs> Poor Miss Quelchy. At least she's blown off some steam. <laughs> Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two poems. They're short, though. Okay. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it is hardly your place to judge. The end. <laughs> this one is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark, must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what, what do you know, amphibie? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's great, okay. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Um, yeah, he definitely talks to actual fish. Yeah, totally. I mean, I talk to my fish in the pond. Okay, Selma and Forrester. Woo, Selmers, woo! Yeah, we hang out a lot. She's your neighbor. She's really nice. She's a cat, she's totally a cat. Okay, right. This is called, There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> <clears throat> No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my, gener my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world has ever. World where house buying jobs become rent paying jobs, become living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die, lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app, replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in a basement. The future is yours, forced 24 seven entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement, they're in the house and the yard. Some night, I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicon city to the ground. Wow, Jesus Christ. That was, that was really dark. Oh my god. And really accurate. Oh my god. Wow. Damn. Huh. She, she rhymed entrepreneur. I don't, I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No? Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you again in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it at myself. Oh, wait, was the assumption that she didn't write hers? Nice work, Smelmer. 
I don't I don't like that nickname. What what are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can, can we go now? <laughs> oh. Everyone in chat has gone mad over that poem. Just utterly mad. Like, oh, too dark. What is life? It's too realistic. Oh my god. Right. Thanks for coming. Uh, we, we live here? Right. So, find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, little Joe. I, I don't really remember little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were like afraid of this ghost. Like filled with like dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have like work and stuff. Yeah, Gre Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time! Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not le illegal. Is there, like, an illegal one? <laughs> sure is, the historical society. You, you, you know you don't, like, have to break in. The, the people there, like, you know, get paid to show it off to you. <laughs> anyway, I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So, so what did I get stuck with? Possum jump. Oh, I know possum jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome, and I'm also scared to death. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Right, we're gonna talk to Dad. Let's see. Ta-da, it's Selmers, a good poet. Thought if I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. I mean, sure, okay. Uh, hey, hey Dad, hi, hi. Ugh, yeah, seems like that's going around. The uh, yep. So, uh, you and Mom have a bit of fight yesterday, huh? Yep. I thought you two were getting along. Mm, we are. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike. That's the problem with me and my mom. I got your chill and her smart assness. I just hate to see you two for on, uh, on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. We're cool, Dad. Be cool. We're cool. Yeah, my, they say uh, my mom and I are, are two alike. What if the killer is my dad? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, right. Sleepy bedtimes. Are we going to have a creepy dream? Yes. Let's see if we have a creepy little dream. Just keep running. Okay, we are going to have a creepy dream. So we're going to do the creepy dream. And then I will leave it off for today. Boing, boing. This is kind of like, you know, Inception when what's her face, Ellen Page, like bends all the houses and stuff. Ooh, and then it happens again in Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Boing, boing. Okay, one here, and then over this way, and then up here. Oh yeah, there's a thing there. Hey, saxophone. Uh, it's the crack fox. From the mighty bush. The mighty bush. Noel Fielding now is uh, gonna be hosting the Great British Bake Off. That's weird. Ah, oh, there, there's an alligator floating around up there, upside down. This is weird! <laughs> what is- I think- I, I blame the uh, giant fish there. Or, or the crack fox. Maybe it was the crack fox. He didn't like that I was calling him a crack fox. Hello! Okay, we got three. We need one more ghost musician. Dream fish! Right, is the last person up here? Yes, there we go. Boom! Oh, and someone's car alarm has gone off outside. Brilliant. There it is. Hello. What crazy creature is going? Oh, it's that one again. Ah. Okay, heron. Dream heron.
These mean something. 